Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'd like to thank you for joining us on our uh, webinar, uh, getting ready for the winter storm season, preparing for your winter jobs. Uh, my name is Andy Robinson. Um, I am the Restoration and Remediation Technical Safety Manager for John Don. Uh, I had the privilege of also introducing Bill Weigand, Technical Advisor, IICRC Instructor with Legend Brands, who's sitting here to my right. So Bill, welcome. Uh, glad you could join us this morning for the webinar. Great to be with you this morning, Andy. Absolutely. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, uh, I, you know, I just want to, I want to make a reference point. You know, we've all heard in the news recently about, you know, early winter storms and the cold uh, that has been coming. You know, the Midwest has seen single digit temperatures, you know, a week ago, uh, two weeks ago, we had a bout of snow and we all heard about the heavy snow in the nor'easter that's happening on the east coast that's dumping upwards of a foot of snow over the uh, coming days. Uh, winter has definitely shown its face early across the country and we hope that the tips that we're sharing with you today will help you be prepared uh, when those winter related calls start coming in. Um, we have about a 45 minute webinar presentation today There'll be a little bit of time for Q&A at the end. Um, we'll answer a couple questions. And with that being said, we're going to get off and going here. So let's get at it. One second here. OK. All right. Well, today we'll be covering uh, where winter opportunities lies. And just to reinforce what you said, Andy, it was, um, it was a challenge getting here over flying it yesterday so uh, it, winter is definitely here absolutely so water damage uh, to properties happens on a daily basis from from building failures of appliances and plumbing and associated fixtures overflowing tubs you got to love those small children right uh, <laughs> sprinkler systems and you know each one of these represents an opportunity to to the restoration contractor of course, as we talked about freezing weather and polar vortexes, and intense rain and snow all generate increased demand for professional restoration services. Sometimes there's more work than restoration contractors during many of these work weather events. And it really opens the door to service providers that are ready to help customers restore the properties and lives that have been disrupted by old man winter. One big thing um, that we identify with companies is the separation um, is definitely in the preparation, you know, we may say. Uh, we do know that the industry's top restoration firms have several things in common. Um, first and foremost, they know that time is money. So they really need to be organized and ready to mobilize when the call comes in. That essentially means having their vehicles prepped, ready to go, uh, being prepared for the call. Um, we've prepared some different preparation tips so you guys are ready to respond, you know, when that winter storm call comes in. Well, Andy, first of all, I think we should do an inventory of, of all the equipment we have. And if maintenance is required, now would be a great time to get that done. Check the cord ends on the equipment, clean and disinfect units, replace filters. And of course, as you know, John Don Service and Legend Brands YouTube channels have maintenance videos for restoration equipment. Awesome. And in addition to that, we should test the equipment to make sure the units are operating correctly. Dust, dust off that old disinfectant pump up sprayer to make sure that it works. And it's also a great time to do an assessment of how many jobs you can realistically handle with the equipment that you have on hand. Yeah, good point, Bill. Um, one of the things that we also want to make sure that we don't forget is protecting ourselves and our people. Um, water damage restoration can be. Um, and most of the time is a wet and dirty job, you know, from a sewer backflow to having to go into a crawl space and dry out a crawl space, you know, even dealing with uh, a glycol suppression system, you really need to think about the proper PPE requirements to keep your staff safe and also minimize your risk. Um, make sure that you have the, make sure that you have uh, proper PPE. Um, examples would be, you know, rubber boots. Um, we want to make sure that we have the appropriate coveralls. If we're going into a crawl space application, we may need more of a chemical resistant coverall suit versus maybe handling a 
category two water damage jobs. So, you know, choose the right coverall along the way. Um, certainly gloves are, are critical as well. We need to make sure our hands are protected. And, you know, there's a multitude of different types of gloves from a nitrile glove to a jersey glove, leather glove. You know, we want to make sure that we're choosing the appropriate form of glove protection for the task at hand. Um, safety slippers, respirators, cartridges, you know, all critical elements that we'll need to look at and evaluate um, for the job at hand. We also know that some facilities may require hard hats and vests. Um, Bill, it seems like it would be common that, you know, if you're going into a crawl space or an attic or, you know, you have a ceiling that water poured through that, you would be wearing a hard hat, but it's a good reminder um, for everybody out there. Uh, the one thing that uh, is certain is, you know, whether it is a coverall, whether it's uh, a glove, any form of PPE from fall protection, you know, we have you covered here at John Don, no matter what you may be needing. Yeah, and there's a lot of uh, different types of disinfectants, and MediClean's a very deep product line. And, you know, you're along with disinfectants, you're going to need floor scrapers and shovels sometimes to remove uh, materials that have become contaminated during water losses. Of course, garbage cans, heavy duty trash bags are, are almost always a must. So there's a lot of things that we need to think about and have on hand and be prepared as, as you said, Andy. Hey Bill, any recommendation on the garbage bag? You know, I've, I've heard of some scenarios where guys may be hauling sewage out of a, a structure <laughs> and uh, they may not be using the right type of bag. And, you know, we'll see a small tear and there's a a line of sewage traveling through the structure, which is never a good thing. Well, from a restoration contractor standpoint, you know, you've really spread the contaminant as opposed to putting it back to pre-loss condition, the structure back to pre-loss condition. You've actually spread the problem and that can be problematic both for, from a legal standpoint and from a professional standpoint as well. Yeah, so I guess the, uh, the rule of thumb is make sure you choose your bag appropriately, good three mil, maybe even a six mil bag, depending on the amount of debris and the weight that's gonna be in the bag. Absolutely. And we, we do have different, different disinfectants for different purposes. You know, what kind of materials, you know, the label is the law on disinfectants. So, you know, if it doesn't say that can be applied in HVAC systems, for example, if you have a, a system like that, you know, there's, there's very few products that can be applied in an HVAC system. And if it's on carpet, you know, not all disinfectants could be applied on carpeting. Are you trying to use a concentrated product? And are we, gonna, are we sure that the people are gonna be measuring it correctly and, and applying it correctly? So there's a lot of information on these labels and we need to be aware of that and choose the product for the job itself. As you said, with, with PPE, it's, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. Bill, I saw a question come in and you know, I'll pose this real quick. And it asks, you know, is there a good time for a botanical-based disinfectant to be used? Well, yeah, um, a lot of times uh, they're, they're almost all ready to use products. And, you know, again, you have to look at the kill claims. Uh, you know, botanicalene is one of the products that, uh, that I'm familiar with, and it's a thymol based product. And, you know, it has a TB claim, and that's kind of the gold standard as far as uh, killing power. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's a widespread kill, and it's, it's what we call a category four disinfectant, which means you don't really need PPE for the application of the product. You still might need PPE for the condition that the, you're applying the product, but not for the product itself. No, that's great, I appreciate that. Um, so just because it sucks water, <laughs> should you use it? I, I, I love the uh, lead in on this slide. Um, a restorer's job, as we know, is to prevent further damage and dry the structure as quickly as possible. Um, you've probably heard that and learned that within WRT, your basic water damage, IICRC training schools. Um, the goal is to remove as much liquid water as possible. We have heard that physical extraction of liquid water is a thousand times more efficient than creating evaporation and dehumidification for removing that remaining water. Um, specialized extraction tools remove up to 40% more water than a standard wand when I say a standard wand, a traditional carpet wand used for carpet cleaning. Uh, one of the things that we also don't want to lose focus of when we're dealing with wands is there's different wands for different types of surfaces. So if we're doing extraction on, say, a hardwood floor or concrete or 
or we've got ceramic tile, we need to make sure that we have selected the appropriate wand. You know, we're gonna need hard surface wands. We may need some squeegee wands, um, potentially even weighted extraction machinery if we're dealing with carpet and padding um, and extracting water from carpet and padding. So extraction tools, uh, the right tool for the job. Um, the dry ease flood extraction wand is a must for all contractors. It's the striker wand. We refer to it as the striker wand. It's, it is, I'm sorry, let me try that again. It's designed specifically for the purpose of flood extraction. Uh, weighted extraction is more than just a tool used by contractors that intend to dry carpet and pad in place, glue down large commercial areas. You know, when we talk about weighted extractors, this would be something like the dry ease rover. Uh, excellent tool. So what the suck? Um, truck mounts. Um, in this slide, you're actually seeing the Everest 870. It reminds me of the, the Tim Allen, oh, you know, <laughs> big, big, bad extraction system. And, you know, while we know that truck mounts are an excellent uh, tool for removing water and cleaning carpets, it's just another tool in the box. Uh, truck mounts will produce great extraction power, but they're not always the right tool for the job. Uh, most large restoration contractors rely on professional high volume extractor, extractors that are engineered to move large volumes of water rapidly. Um, providing extraction services ex in, in extremely cold weather will certainly present some challenges to the restorers that are out there. Freeze damage to truck mounted systems equipment is quite possible. Sometimes it may be inevitable if you're not properly storing your vehicle, if you didn't winterize it, if you left it out overnight, we had a drop in temperature, nothing worse than going back to your gauge and uh, seeing that nothing is moving when you try to fire that, that truck mount. Um, another thing that we also know is access to the flooded area is just not feasible sometimes with truck mounted systems. Um, if we're dealing with a high rise apartment complex or a condo, you know, we have a loss on the 20th floor. Certainly we can't run hoses up the side of the building and remove glass. Um, there also may be some security concerns with doors being breached and, you know, hoses running uh, inside the building. So these are things that, you know, contractors are going to have to think about, you know, along the way. Some options that may overcome some of the challenges that you may see with the truck mount really falls into the portable side. So, Looking at this slide, uh, we're looking at the Dryes HVE 3000 flood pumper. Um, this was designed with really one big purpose in mind, and, and that's to remove high volumes of water from the structure. Um, the HVE has a super powerful pump out system that moves up to 50 gallons per minute. Now that's a large volume of water. Certainly. Yeah, I haven't seen too many circumstances that the rate of pickup and the rate of discharge, that that rate of discharge couldn't keep up with the rate of pickup, which is a really good thing. Um, some other unique features is uh, the filtering system. Um, the machine has a nice clear lid on the intake with a metal basket, so it's great for catching those little carpet fibers that may be you know, extracted up within the water. Again, you can kind of get a visual as to what's going into the machine. Um, other unique features are clog resistant industrial pump. Uh, that pump has the ability to handle up to half inch solids. Nice thing about that is, you know, if we are dealing with a sewage situation, you know, we may be seeing some toilet paper on the floor. Uh, not to sound gross, but we may also potentially have some human waste that needs to be extracted. Um, Very politely put on your part. Oh, well, thank you. Um, easy clean out is also available on the machine. Um, if you, know, you have a smaller water damage job that doesn't require the pump out, you can roll the machine right up to a toilet. Um, easy clean out, again, the tank's 12 gallon capacity. Uh, you could literally drain it right to a, a toilet high drain, if not using the auto pump out feature. And a, a really unique thing that I, that I like about the HV3000, and I haven't seen this on other machinery, is a HEPA filter that is on the vacuum exhaust which helps to limit cross-contamination. And I think that's you know, really important, especially when we think about category three jobs, right? Yes. We have a sewage situation, we may have bacteria that's present, bacterial spores, um, as we're extracting that water, 
you know, we have a HEPA filtering system on that air that exits through the vacuum blowers. Um, I think it may be the first time I've seen that in a extraction unit. So I like that they're thinking outside of the box. Really an engineering control. Absolutely, no, agree with that. And, and lastly, I think I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that, you know, again, there's a multitude of different tools to achieve the extraction of water. We talked about truck mounts, we talked about the HVE 3000, we've referenced different wands. One thing that contractors should definitely have on their truck is your submersible pumps. You know, if you are dealing with standing water, you have a, a basement that's flooded out, you're gonna need to use a submersible pump, pump that water down. Once we get it right down to that quarter inch, at that point, it's you know a great idea to then bring in your portable HVE or your truck mounted system. Absolutely. And Andy, air movers and dehumidifiers come in many shapes and sizes and price ranges, and, and you probably know that better than I, but you know, not all drying equipment is really created equal. And there's many cheap imports out there that make ridiculous performance claims with no documented support. They offer warranties that really aren't worth the paper they're really printed on. So let's focus on the products that the majority of professional restorers count on to operate their business. There's one clear choice. For 40 years, dry use products have really led the industry in developing and manufacturing the most durable and reliable restorative drying equipment. There's one clear choice. Low profile air movers have been out for a few years now, and, and the, the air movers built by dry ease are built in the USA, the Velo and Velo Pro, have really become the industry standard and go-to product for restoration contractors. So Bill, I got a question for you. Um, you know, in the industry, we're seeing a lot of migration into low profile air movers. Um, there's talk about benefits of them being lighter, smaller. Can you just, can you kind of elaborate to us the rationale behind introducing this style air mover and some of the unique benefits that you'll have on a low profile? Absolutely, you know, it's, it's a fact that most people or many people are considering uh, fuel economy when they're choosing their, their trucks. And if they go to smaller vehicles, we need to pack as much drying power into a smaller space as possible. And the low profile air movers like the Velo and Velo Pro have the ability to present an awful lot of drying power in a very small package. They're really light as well. So, you know, folks who work in restoration work really hard, but if we can make their work a little bit easier with lighter weight tools, uh, they tend to use the tools that they like. And, and one of the reasons why they like the Velo and the Velo Pro is because they are lighter and, and they can stack really well in vehicles. We can get them in and out of mm -hmm. vehicles and, and buildings more easily than traditional air movers. No, that's great information, Bill. Appreciate that. Dehumidification. So there's, there's two different sizes of dehumidifiers. Uh, for refrigerant dehumidification, it falls into two classifications. Uh, those classifications are Xactimate large capacity dehumidifiers and Xactimate extra large classes of dehumidifiers. And um, the classes often are identified by pint capacity. We know that an extra large dehumidifier normally will have a pint rating of 125 pints of water removal um, at AHAM conditions, 80 degrees, 60% relative humidity. Um, all dry ease dehumidifiers, I'm sorry, all dry ease LGR dehumidifiers are also equipped with some very unique features that are built into the machinery. Um, in the slide here, you'll see the 7000, the LGR 6000, the Revolution, and the 3500i, and all of those being LGR dehumidifiers, every one of those units is equipped with a I-Series control panel. Um, the I-Series control panel is kind of a unique feature that displays both the temperature that's coming into the dehumidifier, the relative humidity coming in, and it'll also measure the temperature and the humidity that's exiting the dehumidifier. We may say it's a built-in thermal hygrometer, which really it kind of is along the way. Um, the panel will also give us grain depression on the job, and we do have features such as built-in humidistats that allow for dialing in specific relative humidity values 
if we have a specialty job that may be more about humidity control, then let's just say drying out a structure as rapidly as possible, where we would just you know maximize um, the water removal and probably not use a humidistat at that point. Um, all of the I-series control panels also have multiple languages that can be used, and they offer maintenance props, props on the display for coils and filter. Another um, unique feature to the dry ease class of LGR dehumidifiers is they incorporate EDT technology. Um, whether you've heard that term or not, EDT is extreme dew point technology. In, in really in layman's terms, what that does is it modifies the blower, the blower CFM, to maximize overall dehumidifier efficiency through the course of the dry. So we may need to have more airflow at the beginning of the job where it's high temperature, high grain. Perhaps we need to throttle that blower capacity back on the backside of the job, slow it down, have more dwell time on the coil when the relative humidity and the grains are getting you know, lower in the environment, we want less airflow where again, we can get more dwell time on that evaporator coil. Yeah, Andy, the, really the only time that AHAM is, is probably applicable at all uh, is, is at the beginning of the project because you know, we really shouldn't be at 60% relative humidity on, on day two and beyond. So right. the, the extreme dew point te temperature is really important. And that technology is really, really uh, great for, for professional restorers. So the most commonly purchased and, and used dehumidifier by contractors for residential restoration projects anyway are the large class units. And you know the revolution, as you mentioned, uh, we talked about a little bit earlier, another example of a lot of drying power in a small package, um, very, very durable. Uh, I've had people tell me they've dropped them out of the back of vehicles, that does happen. Uh, not intentionally, but uh, they've you know, plugged it back in and it still, still operates as it was intended to. So uh, Revolution, again, I-Series, uh, LGR, the 6,000 units, a little bit larger unit, it's on wheels, has 100 pint capacity under those AHAM test conditions that you talked about. And, and the filtration is really good on these units as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of good choices here, uh, depending again on what size loss you're working on, what class of water loss uh, you're talking about, what, what materials have been affected by water and how quickly are they gonna release the water. Yeah, so Bill, um, I know there's, there's always been concerns from contractors about noise level. Sometimes we hear, well, the dehumidifiers are loud or the air movers are loud. You know, we hear of clients that may be turning the equipment off. I know that there was um, some changes, some new innovations that went into the LGR 6000. It kind of focused a little bit more around decibel levels. Can you, can you comment at all yeah, about, you know, what you guys have worked on? You know, we've, we've worked on, on both dehumidifiers and, and air movers. Uh, the air mover, we, we have an air mover we call the Stealth, and interesting, interesting technology there that we brought into this industry. And it, it actually uh, uses serrated blades to, to cut through the air more mm -hmm. effectively and drop the decibel levels, you know, 15, 20 decibels per unit. And, and that can be very substantial on a, on a water loss where you might have 30, 40 pieces of mm -hmm. equipment operating. Yeah, perhaps that's the difference between a client turning the equipment off slowing the drying process down and maybe you hearing complaints from an adjuster because it took an extra day um, with some of those new technologies that you guys have incorporated. Well, yeah, dry ease makes pretty good equipment, but it only, it only works when it's plugged in. Amen. Amen. Um, extra large uh, dehumidifiers. Um, question that comes up is when and why do you need an XL size dehumidifier? Um, well, I think, I think the answer to that is uh, an XL dehumidifier should be used when your class of water loss has been determined. Uh, once you've calculated the size of the space that is affected um, and calculated the total pint capacity, and if that pint capacity calls for more than 125 pints of water removal, you probably should be looking at an extra large um, that will give you that efficiency. Um, you know, benefits to the LGR 7000, uh, 130 plus pints of water removal at AHAM conditions, 
um, a power cord and a drain cord that stores on board, nice side pockets to keep your cords uh, nice and neat. Uh, you'll see that there's uh, larger wheels um, on the 7000, which is great for being able to climb the steepest staircases. And you know some new features that have gone into all the dehumidifiers is the new 4Pro dehumidifier filter. Um, the 4Pro is an industry first. Uh, it is designed uh, with four stages of filtration. And the first stage on that machine is actually designed to attract the small particles in the first stage. Um, the second stage on that filter features a cellulose, cellulose mesh for larger particles that may be um, you know, moving through the filter. Um, a third stage is a carbon for absorbing uh, odors associated with water damage jobs that you know, may be sewage or you know, we have some smells from an animal that may have uh, gone on the carpet that's present within the extraction. And then lastly, the fourth stage has an antimicrobial treatment that helps to prevent bacterial growth on the filter. Um, the one thing we know is there's a lot of technology built in to this cost-effective new filter. Absolutely. So we've, we've kind of taken you through some different steps along the way of how you can prepare for you know, the water damage jobs that may come in through the season. You know, Bill had mentioned um, different antimicrobials and, and when to use them. We've addressed uh, the extraction process. Um, some of the things that we need to explore in extraction from truck mounts to portables, choosing the right wands along the way. Mm -hmm. You know, we've given you some information about air movers, some of the advancements that are happening in the market space, the new VLOs and the VLO pros um, you had mentioned you know, noise, um, noise cancellation on them, being quieter, easier to move. Um, so again, we've kind of prepped uh, several different things that you, the restorer, can start to implement in your business in preparation for when the storm comes in. Um, I wanted to move into our winter promotion that is happening. Um, as you can see on the slide, the uh, winter promotion is tied around the purchase of an LGR dehumidifier. And you'll notice that whether it's a Revolution, an LGR 6000, a 7000, the 2800, or the 3500i, we have a promotion going that with the purchase of any dehumidifier LGR, you will receive absolutely free a Velo air mover. And pretty cool. I mean, it's a $300 value that you're getting. No, that's a great promotion. Absolutely free with the purchase of a dehumidifier. Um, but the one thing that I want you guys to pay attention to is. You know, like all good things, whether it's a Black Friday sale or it's the Cyber Monday sale, usually it's only a limited period of time. So this uh, great incentive uh, started November 15th, and it actually runs through December 19th, uh, about another two and a half weeks from now. Coming up pretty quickly. Absolutely. So it's a great time, uh, you know, to kind of make your investment. You know, if you've been looking to add on dehumidification, great time with uh, being able to get, you know, a free air mover with every purchase along the way but it doesn't stop there. It actually gets better. Um, there's some other opportunities tied to that promotion that our clients can take advantage of. And you can talk to your John Don rep about some of the other incentives. Example, um, with a purchase of $20,000 or greater in dehumidification, um, clients would actually receive a free seat in the WRT ASD combo class. And I think those classes are offered in both Burlington, Washington, and Nashville, Tennessee. And clients that have purchased $10,000 or greater um, in dehumidification are gonna get double legend reward points as well. Terrific. And it's, if you're not familiar with legend rewards, um, it's kind of like a frequent flyer program with every uh, legend brand item you purchase. There's a certificate that comes with um, the item and you can redeem that for cool things like gift cards, um, televisions. televisions, to travel vouchers, um, a lot of good stuff that's out there um, that can be redeemed along the way. Um, again, as a reminder to everyone, um, our winter promotion started November 15th. It runs through December 19th. So again, you know, it'll be gone before you know it. Um, don't come back on the 21st or the 22nd and say, hey, can I still get that promotion? You know, unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end, and it is through December 19th. Um, some clients have, have asked us in the past, you know, do you have financing options? If 
you know, I'm looking to make an investment, you know, is there a way to do a finance deal? And, and certainly we have options available through John Don and some of our partners. We work closely with Marlin Financial, um, uh, I'm sorry, Marlin Financial um, Banking. Um, there's lines of credit, there's financing that can be um, applied for. We can get you approved very quickly. Um, usually when you fill out an application, we can get an answer back within about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So again, if you've thought about making that uh, capital investment or you want to take advantage of this promotion, certainly there's financing options that are out there to assist you along the way. Um, other ways you can take advantage of that promotion um, is simply just reaching out and calling your John Don sales rep. Um, you know, our, our people are available um, to answer your phone calls and assist you with the uh, promotion. A couple ways you can contact John Don, whether it's uh, tied to any questions that you may have regarding today's presentation, you can reach out to us at the 1-800-556-6366 number. You can ask for your rep to take advantage of the promotion. If you have uh, additional questions pertaining to the webinar, uh, you can reach out to our restoration team, or you can even reach out to myself or Bill directly. Um, you'll see a direct phone number to myself, uh, Remediation Technical Safety Manager. Again, my cell number, my email is on there. Um, we can get you in touch with Bill Wigan just the same if you have additional questions, you know, pertaining to the presentation or anything tied to the promotion as well. Um, let me go back one slide. So that's kind of a recap um, of what we were wanting to discuss with you today. A little bit of knowledge about how you prepare for the business, um, give you a preview of the winter promotion that is in front of us. And we've got a couple minutes that are still available for Q&A. And, you know, as we were presenting, we saw a couple questions that came in and we thought we'd just, you know, kind of dive right into the, the questions that uh, came through. So the first question that came in was, what are the benefits, I'm sorry, what benefits are there for a new or an existing company to attend the ASD, the Advanced Structural Drying, free of charge with the purchase you know, of, of dehumidification through John Don and qualifying for that. So no better person than Bill you know, who handles education. So what are the benefits of uh, ASD? Well, you know, the WRT course is really designed to make you a good helper on a water loss. And it's, it's an introductory course, but the ASD course is where you get to actually flood a building and, and then dry the building. So you can see the entire process from, from the flooding portion, which is fun, to, uh, to, to the complete drying and how to log the data, how to get, uh, which makes getting paid for this work a lot, a lot easier if you present the right documentation. So we help you with the documentation. We help you with exposing you to all this different equipment that, that you, you folks have in inventory here. And it really makes you a much more professional person in, in the water restoration industry if you take the ASD course. And from what I'm told, there, there are some insurance companies that are now requiring the ASD mm -hmm. certification to be on their preferred vendor list. So uh, there's just a whole bunch of benefits to it. And plus, uh, you know, going to Nashville or, or Burlington uh, is, is a whole lot of fun. Oh, absolutely. That's great information, Bill. Um, I, got, I got a second question that just came through and it says, how do I find out more about the Legend Rewards program? What is it and how does it work? Well, we kind of gave you a, a brief overview. We, we referenced that it's similar to a frequent flyer program, um, but an option that you may have is if you go to, and I'll, I'll display this on my screen, if you go to legendrewards.com, um, this is the landing page for the Legend Rewards program. As we had mentioned uh, earlier in the presentation, with any purchase of a Dry Ease Legend piece of equipment, you receive a certificate and it has a serial number. So you'd go to the Legend Reward site, you can register um, that certificate, you set up your account where it tracks everything as you're making purchase and redeeming your coupons. Um, on that site, it'll give you lots of good information about the different types of items that you could uh, use those points towards. Uh, again, cameras, uh, GPS systems, DeWalt, power tools, vacations, et cetera. So again, to learn a little bit more about the Legend Reward Program, simply just go to legendrewards.com. Absolutely, I've been told that, uh, I'm not eligible for that program, by the way, but uh, I've been told that pretty much anything you can buy on Amazon, you can buy with Legend Reward points. So uh, that's a whole lot of material. 
absolutely. Uh, the last question that I uh, just saw that came through, and I guess this is probably more John Don related, it says, how long does it take for a product to ship if I want to take advantage of this promotion? Um, well, John Don has locations nationwide. You know, we service 98% of the uh, population within one to two business days. Um, so anybody that's, you know, looking to take advantage of this promotion, you know, we should be able to get your product shipped out today and literally land on your doorstep within one to two business days. So again, whether it's the great promotion that's in front of you um, with the free Velo, personal protective equipment, uh, flood extraction equipment, any of the items that we've talked about today, certainly we're just a phone call away. Um, with that being said, you know, I, I wanna thank Bill for his time today and sharing you know, his, his technical expertise, his 50 plus years of, <laughs> of knowledge in this uh, marketplace. And, and I guess I just uh, put it back to Bill as a, a recap to, uh, you know, on, the, on the conversation today. Any lasting thoughts? No, the race doesn't always go to the swift. It usually goes to the prepared. And I think that's what we've tried to show you today is that, you know, whether it be getting your equipment repaired and ready, um, you know, it costs a little bit of money probably to do that, but how much money you're going to lose at the other end if you do not, um, if you don't, or if you aren't prepared when that opportunity comes your way. So, you know, get prepared early, get prepared today. And, you know, the folks here at John Don do a great job and I've actually used their services and have gotten stuff uh, through, through John Don. And you're right. It takes about one to two days uh, from in my, my home to, to get it from uh, your, your locations to my home. So, you know, don't be afraid to, to use that, uh, that service. It's, it's a wonderful opportunity. And I, I think, uh, I think you guys do a great job here. No, I appreciate that, Bill. Again, you know, we heard him reference the preparation and, and I do believe that's really what it's about, you know, preparing your business, having your ducks in a row, no pun intended on that. Hey, I'm um, a Steeler fan. We got ducks. Yeah. So again, be prepared, um, have the products that you need to be able to respond to your clients, um, loss at hand. Again, no better time than right now to take advantage of the uh, winter promotion. Um, also a great time to maybe look at, um, uh, the tax code 179, where you can depreciate capital investments that you make. Um, better to invest in equipment than I guess <laughs> paying Uncle Sam. Um, so again, we can give you additional information about uh, tax code 179, depreciating any capital investment. And again, no time like the present to take advantage of this amazing promotion that's out there. Uh, we wanna thank everybody that joined us on the phone call today. Uh, we hope that you leave with a couple new ideas that'll help you prepare your business um, as we're moving into the winter season. I uh, wish everybody a uh, happy and safe holiday. And uh, we look forward to uh, hearing from you very soon with uh, any questions pertaining to today's webinar um, and also uh, taking advantage of our promotion. So have a great holiday all, uh, and we'll speak with you all soon. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye now.